guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lucia and I'm going to be doing a get ready with me today. This is like a quarantine edition because I know everyone's stuck inside right now for a good reason. Um, but I just thought I would try to cheer you guys up today and show you how I get ready to stay inside. All right guys, so the first thing I like to do is I like to prep my face for my makeup. So I have a nice little skincare routine that I procured for myself. Um, the first step is always to use a micellar water. I like to clean my face first with a regular cleanser, but then I tend to go over again with a micellar water just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. So I will do that first. The event micellar water here. After I've done that, I feel like I really have gotten everything off that I need to get off. Um, but the next step will prove that. I'm going to use a toner now. The toner that I like to use is the Epiclar, um Lotion from La Roche-Posay. And again, I'll take it on a cotton pad. I would, in the perfect world, like to be one of those people who uses the reusable cotton pads. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have a laundry machine in my apartment, um, and I know that I could clean them in the sink, but I am a student, so it feels like a lot of work, <laughs> and I'm a little bit lazy. <laughs> the next step is to go in with my serums. Um, I like to use two serums. Um, the first one that I use is Effaclar Serum from La Roche-Posay. And then I like to use the Glam Glow um, Super Serum as well. They're both really, really great for ta tackling um, adult acne, basically. And I've kind of been having some breakouts lately. I think it has something to do with this lockdown situation, but we'll get through it. So I just put a little bit of this onto my hand. And I like to rub it in. I then like to go in with an eye serum. I um, use the Advanced Genifique um, Eye Light Pearl. I really, really like this serum um, because it has a little metal applicator. And this applicator actually helps to revive your eyes in the morning. So if you have dark circles, if you have puffy eyes, this one really, really helps to um, reduce the puffiness. And it also helps with mine's wrinkles. While that dries, because it does have a tiny bit of a dry down time, I like to go in with my day cream. And I do like to use the Clarence Multi-Active Day Cream. Um, this one's typically for a 30 plus age range, but I don't see any harm in using it 20 plus. They do have a better cream for um, teens. They have ones with great antioxidants in them, and Clarence is a mostly plant-based company, so I really like them for that reason. Um, but yeah, um, I really like this one for me. And I'm just rub it in. I always put too much on my forehead. I need to learn for my mistakes. All right, and the last step in this somewhat lazy skincare routine, because I swear I could go for 20 more steps. <laughs> um, I like to use this eye cream. It's also the multi-active day cream um, for the eyes from Clarins. Um, it also has this metal tip applicator, so it helps again with the puffiness and dark circles. Both of those products, I would say most people would be okay with. If you're very sensitive, you may have some uh, reaction to it, but most places that sell Clarins do have great return policies where you're able to try the product hands-on and see how you react to it before um, you feel like you're stuck with it. All right, guys, so that's my skincare routine. Um, I do like to wait a tiny bit of time, usually like less than five minutes before I start putting my makeup on. Um, but because I start with my eyes, I typically can get away with it because I don't use any product on um, the lids. So it's not really slippery there yet. 
so my makeup kind of has time to soak into my face while I'm doing my eyes. So I thought we could get started on the eyes. Um, I like to do eyebrows first. I like to carve out my eyebrows before I put any product on. So I like to use just a small flat brush. Um, synthetic is typically better when using um, a cream product like this, but natural hair works for sure as well. So I'm just going to go in with my Jouer Concealer. Um, this is the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer, um, and I have it in the shade Cream or Creme. I just like to place a little bit on each of my eyelids. If I was smart, I would have waited to do the second eyelid so it doesn't dry before I get to it. Once I've figured out the shape for my brow, I'll go in with kind of a thicker, um, flatter, larger concealer brush um, just to kind of blend it all out faster. Because if I used the other brush, it would probably take me an hour. I just like to blend out the edges just in case I have any harsh areas. I don't want to um, have them dry down and then me not be able to blend them out. So now you're a little bit closer. It's kind of scary. You're pretty close. I'm just going to finish this brow up off camera and do the other one and then I'll be right back. So once my brows are all filled in and carved out, I like to go in with um, the 24 hour brow setter. This is from Benefit. Um, it's definitely the best brow setter I've ever tried. So I basically just comb it through my brows. They stay there for 24 hours. While I still have you close up, I'm gonna show you a really simple um, eyeshadow look. Um, I know I don't need to be doing eyeshadow, but I feel like this would be a silly video if I didn't show you something to put on your eyelids. So my absolute favorite palette right now, and no one can convince me otherwise, is the Natasha Nonona Biba palette. You can see it's well loved. With the Morphe M209 brush, I'm just going to go into the shade Tusk. That's this guy right here. I'm gonna set my lid with that shade. If you're really pale, that shade might not work um, to set your eyes. It's borderline too dark for me. Next, I'm going to go straight into the shade Freckle. That one right there. I'm gonna put it onto the Morphe um, 519 brush. It's just a fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna use it to pack this shade onto my outer corner. I'm not gonna try to go too deep into the crease since we are going for a more natural look. For me, this is not super blown out. Um, if you find this is too dramatic, you can, um, you can change up the shape a little bit. We can try as hard as we want. Our eyebrows and our eyes will never be twins. They will be sisters forever and ever. So here is the brown shade all complete. I'm now gonna go in with kind of a shimmer color just to brighten up the inner corner. And I'm gonna use the shade Monroe for that. You can spray it with some setting spray if you're going for a more dramatic look, but I'm just gonna do something soft today, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I use the word soft and natural and then it comes out looking like this. I can't really help it. Um, the Natasha Denona shades are super, super pigmented and really, really nice.
if you want you can go in with a slightly darker shade in your corner or your the outer corner um, just to create a little bit more depth I'm only going to use a tiny bit of darker brown so I'll use a I'll use a tiny bit of cocoa So I like this look, but I think that I've lost touch with what is natural. This is it just a little bit closer up. I'm not going to worry too much about the tiny details today. Um, it's more so just about kind of expressing yourself through the art of makeup. I'm now going to curl my lashes. I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup um, Kush Mascara. So. I've been liking it lately. It's a little bit clumpy, but I kind of like that. And it's not too wet. I find um, it can be clumpy if it's a little bit dry. That works for me. But if it's a wet mascara and it's clumpy, um, I definitely get spider lashes. It almost feels like there's fibers in here. I don't know too much about this mascara. Maybe there are. So we're now ready to move on to face makeup. Um, I'm going to go in with my foundation before I do concealer. Um, just because I'll have to look up when I use my concealer and I don't want to get this freshly um, applied mascara onto my eyelids. I just wanted to zoom you guys out a tiny bit there um, so you can see my full face and how I'm applying it. So this might be a little bit controversial but I don't always use a face primer. Um, I find it depends on the um, the foundation that I'm using but for this foundation I don't like to use a primer. I find that my skincare routine is good enough um, to create a nice base for this uh, product. This is the Touche Cloud Le Tint um, from Yves Saint Laurent. This guy here, and I have it in shade BD10. Notice I do have pimples, and I'm deciding to use my foundation first. Um, if you don't have a concealer that matches your skin tone, and you only have one for under your eyes, that's totally fine. Um, just in that case, I would recommend using your concealer to cover up your pimples prior to putting your foundation on. Because I have a concealer that matches my foundation, I'm able to put it on afterwards. Either way is perfectly fine though. Oh yeah, and I'm using this Morphe brush. It's just a flat top Kabuki brush. This is the S94. So this is a little secret. You don't have to spend a million dollars on concealer. <laughs> um, I found one that works really, really well for me. It doesn't crease under my eyes. And if it, I mean, I don't find that any concealer is creaseless, um, 100%. So um, I tend to use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. This is the one with the stripy lid. Um, I use it in shade L400. This one's definitely a little bit too dark for my under eyes right now, but I'm going to use it anyways because I don't have anything else and I'm not going to go shopping for makeup frivolously right now. The Jouer Concealer does crease a little bit on me, so I don't want to use that one. Um, but this one also matches my foundation, so I can go over my pimples with this as well. You know what? I lied. <laughs> it doesn't even match my skin that great or my foundation that well, but it'll work. So to blend in the concealer on my face, I like to use the foundation brush um, just because it kind of melts the two together. We're going to come back to these pimples too. Um, there is one more step that helps a lot. To conceal them like all day long because I find that sometimes um, makeup will slip 
on um, pimples and that's okay but I have a really great and expensive product um, that helps to minimize the slippage. All right, so I think we were mostly blended in here. Um, that means it's time for setting powder. Um, this is the product that I feel really, really helps me with um, covering acne. This is the Fit Me Loose Powder. Um, it is so incredible. I have never tried a loose powder that is so, so good. I have always tried to go with a translucent powder, but I find that that's not always as effective for me personally as a slightly tinted powder. This one matches me really, really well. I use it in Fair Light, number 10. So I actually like to go in with a really tiny brush. Um, I don't typically powder all over my face because I'm quite dry in some areas and um, oily in others, but I just like to set my under eyes. my forehead here. Depends on the day though. Sometimes I'm very flaky and dry in my T-zone. Other days I'm not. My chin. And just pack this over that pimple, especially if it's the exact shade that you need. Um, it's almost, I mean, you can still see it, but it's almost invisible in person. Um, and I find it actually helps with the texture of it too. And I always do the creases in my nose because um, my makeup separates there a lot. So now it's time for some bronzer. Um, this is by far my favorite bronzer. I don't think I've ever tried anything that's this good. Um, you can tell by the amount that I have left. I find this one blends so beautifully. You really don't have to work that hard to um, kind of blend it and melt it into your skin. I'm a huge fan of bronzer, if you can tell. Um, especially in the winter months, I find this is our saving grace. I do put a little bit over my nose too, um, just to give a little bit of a sun-kissed look. And just a bit under my chin as well and down my neck just to make sure we don't look like we're wearing a mask. <laughs> okay, I may have gone a little overboard with this, but. Okay, I'm gonna put that away now. <laughs> this is the Marc Jacobs um, Omega Glaze in Guilty, but it's spelt. I'm gonna take like a little tiny brush like this and I'm gonna go back in with the Natasha Denona palette and I just wanna make sure that I blend this kind of into my lower lash line. You wanna hug really, really close to your lash line um, because you run the risk of looking like doomsday came along. I like to kind of drag that glitter shade down across as well, and it really brightens up your eyes. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of bottom mascara. You don't have to, especially if you want a little bit more natural of a look. You girl don't know anything about natural. Oh, so natural. <laughs> I love this product as well that I'm about to use. Um, it's the MAC Patten Polish Lip Pencil in the shade It's Really Me. It's a beautiful neutral shade. Um, they were on sale. I don't know if that means they were discontinuing them, but it's basically just like a crayon that you can draw on your lips. It's so, so easy. And it gives you a beautiful sheen That's pretty much it, guys. This is the look all finished. All right, guys, that is 
it. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm gonna be posting it on my Facebook, on my YouTube, and um, maybe on my Instagram as well. Um, please leave comments anywhere, um, and if you could give it a thumbs up, that would be really, really awesome. Um, I feel like I get a lot of dislikes on some of my videos. I don't know, I feel like it's people just trolling um, with nothing better to do, and it doesn't bother me, but it does actually affect how I do on YouTube if I, um, as I try to um, gain some recognition from brands, it doesn't look great. So if you don't like this video, um, you can message me, you can comment down below, I can respond to you, but um, yeah, I'd appreciate it if we only shared positivity during this time. But yeah, I'm really, really glad that I did this. I loved sitting down with you guys. Um, but yeah, please interact in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys thought. And if you have any future video requests, just let me know. And uh, hit the subscribe button wherever that may be down here. Um, but that's all for me. Have a great night, guys. Bye.